Welcome back. All right, today we're gonna check out the Townie lineup. And this is a very complicated setup from Trek and Electra. This is all the electric bikes that they make. Well, not all of them, but a whole brief series of what they've got. All right, so Electra is Trek's kind of cruiser brand. And with that, we are looking at the Townie series today and specifically the Townie Go. So this will be your kind of go-to guide for everyone looking into the Townie Go e-bikes. E-bikes are growing ever so quickly. It's hard to keep up with them. Every day you see more and more people know about them, hear about them, want to know about them. And that's a good thing. There's nothing wrong with that. But it gets a little confusing. The Townie name from Electra is shared across many models and many options starting as low as $2,300 in Canada and then going upwards of five plus thousand dollars for some of their fancier models. So let's check out some of the entry level ones to begin with. So behind me to start, we have the Electra Townie 7D Go. It's a heck of a name, it's a lot to process. So it is an Electra brand. The model is called the Townie. The Go references it is their electric version and the 7D references that it's got seven external gears with a derailleur which shifts them. We'll get more into that later, but for now, let's go over some more parts spec of them. These use the high drive electric system for which Trek and Electra have been using for quite a few years now. It has been a very reliable system, it works well. It is a rear motor drive, so it is separate from the frame, it is just on that rear wheel but it produces a good amount of torque, a good amount of power, which gets you up pretty much all the hills with very little effort. The battery itself is built right into the frame on these new 2022s, so they look really good. They hardly look like e-bikes. It is semi-removable. I say that because some are removable very easily with a key. These ones, there is tools required, shop knowledge, or at least some sort of ability with bikes. If you have some knowledge with bikes, you have to take off the bottom bracket and the crank. It's not super difficult. It's a bit more tedious and time consuming. And obviously it's not as easy to do as just turning a key and popping a battery out. But with that, it makes it a lot smaller. The battery is lost, a lot less complicated. There's not as many parts. You don't need a latch system and a bracket system to hold it in. It just stays in and runs along a rail. It's very simple and that gives it a low profile feature, which is really nice and it saves a lot of weight. So this has just under a 500 watt hour battery. It works well. It is low profile and slim, so it really looks tidy. And it gives you about 30 to 80 kilometers range on a variety of modes. So this one here has three electronic modes. That means you can have a easy, a medium and a hard and eco, a touring and a boost. Honestly, I think they call them something weird like river, stream, and twig or something like that. The official names for on high drive are really odd. I wouldn't worry about it. I reference them as eco, touring, and boost, referencing that they change kind of aggressiveness of the electric application. So they will ramp up more aggressively into the electric assist the higher the mode you go. It's simply indicated by three red lights, and that is all you really need. There is five indicators for the battery level, so you'll get to see that. And otherwise, it's it's no bells or whistles. It's a very simple bike. They have an oversized tire compared to the regular Townie and disc brakes. Otherwise, the shifting is the same from the regular model. And that gives you a pretty good wide range of gears. Nothing crazy, but it'll get you most places. And you've got the electric assist to fall back on. Overall, these are a lightweight e-bike coming in at under 44 pounds. They look great. They charge pretty fast at about four and a half hours charge time. And, they, and it should be a good, reliable battery. You've got the backing of Trek behind it now. High Drive seemingly is a big company with a lot of different options out there. And Trek has just placed on one of their more simple, basic options there. But it keeps the price of this one very low and competitive with some of these cheaper Chinese kind of knockoff brands. Nothing to say I'm wrong with Chinese stuff, but there's a lot of weird, wacky e-bikes out there in the world. And this you get two big names of reliability behind it and it'll work really well. The next step up from there, we are out of stock up and they're very hard to come by, but it is the Townie 5i. It looks very similar to the 8Ds, which are behind me and the 9Ds, which are behind me and the past 10Ds. There is so many options. It's almost, they may need to refine it in my mind, but 
The 5i comes with the same towny positioning you get, so the push forward pedals, same as all of them. It goes to a Bosch electric system, so a bigger battery, better, more powerful electronic uh, center drive. So that's gonna really detect an input. That's gonna really detect the feel and wattage that you're putting in as well as the speed to really give a very efficient use of that battery power and that electric assist. They jump up to the four modes in the electric, eco, touring, sport, and turbo, each with a little more power than the high drive system and each with better efficiency than the high drive system. So you're getting 50 to 100 and 120 kilometers per charge. And it's not that much bigger of a battery, about a 500 watt hour. So it's pretty impressive how much more efficiency a really clean, well-built system will do in comparison to just a more simple hub drive system. The 5i means it's got five internal gears, and this means you can shift whenever you want. It works well. You just don't get a huge range with it. You get a smaller amount of gears, but it's very simple. You don't even need to be pedaling when you shift. Very, very easy to use. And that one's about 3,800, so about $1,800 more than the entry level. And realistically, you're paying a lot for a Bosch name, which will work in reliability. All right, we're gonna jump up to another one now, which is the Townie Path. So this means it's got a bigger rim to it, whereas all the other ones before this had a 26 inch wheel. This one now has a 27 and a half, so it'll roll a little faster. The balloon tire is even bigger than before, so it'll absorb that road even better. You still have that reliable Bosch electric system, but each one now gets paired with a little bit fancier of a console. So instead of that basic Bosch electric console, you are jumping up to a more complicated and simple console. The one which it comes with stock, it's a very simple basic console. It gives you your range and your speed, and that's about it, battery life obviously. That's about it, very simple. But you can fully integrate this with a smartphone via an app, it's all free. You can plug your phone directly into controller and then you're able to charge your phone and always have like this fancy GPS, speedometer, a whole system which works with your bike live while you're riding it. Fits really well. A few cases though have been a little chunky and the, the bike doesn't really bite, which is a little bit of a downside. So you might have to take your case off, but when it actually clamps it, it does feel very secure. And it's not like you're gonna be off-roading with this. It's gonna be a pretty simple ride experience for it. With these ones as well, you get a bigger, more powerful motor. It isn't any bigger in size, it is just bigger in torque and bigger in output. So you're actually able to get even more effort going up hills, even more fight against the wind. It will just be that much more pleasurable of an electric bike ride experience as well as a regular bike experience with those bigger wheels, bigger tires. And then you get nine gears on the top of it. Nine or 10, there's two options. There's so many options of these bikes. It's, they should really narrow it down. The nine or 10, all derailer system. It works well. It is a very fast, snappy shifting. It goes all the way up to the Dior level if you go to the 10 and it will work very, very well. So it's definitely hard to say which one to start with. At the very entry level point, you have a very good price bike. You have very good parts to it. The Townie series has been out for a long time and they really made it as true to that form as possible. But now they added this very good, reliable electric system, which will work for most people. As you go up the levels, you get bigger and better motors, bigger and better wheels, as well as the addition of racks, fenders, built-on lights. I didn't even mention any of that in the previous. So if you're really looking to load out your bike, make it look cool, have color matching fenders, which you cannot get with the 7Ds, you can get black, white, and a few limited edition colors. You cannot get the exact color match. This one, your bike will look complete right off the showroom floor, no additional accessories. You know, you add a basket, and that's really all you can add. There's not many more things you need with these ones. You can get a better console. You can even upgrade the consoles if you want with the Bosch system. It's very easy to upgrade them to the smartphone mount one or to just keep that more basic display. And then when you add to the path models, you're going to that ultimate ride experience for the Townie line. And this is true in the non-electric Townie as well. The Townie path is still king. It is really what they want the townies to be. It's gonna be a fantastic ride experience. It's gonna roll fast. It's gonna absorb the road and bumps and cracks and all that curbs you may hit and roll superbly great. 
With that, they've paired a very easily removable battery, a very easy system to operate, or gets a little more complicated if you want. It's completely optional, fully functional without the cell phone on top of it. It just works well. It's very simple up and down controls, very easy to read and easy fast shifting. It's hard to say where to start. The entry level ones can be for everyone and anyone. If you're planning on decking it out, I really do say look at the next level ones because not only you get, get a lot of the features you're gonna ask for, but the lights will be powered by the battery. The battery is upgraded to Bosch. If you really see yourself putting on the kilometers and doing a lot of potential manual effort or potentially going over rougher terrain, that path series may be more appealing because it's gonna roll that much smoother. It's gonna roll that much smoother and just operate really fantastically with the ability to really interact with it. That cell phone mount can be really cool. You can get turn-by-turn -turn navigation, use your full GPS, and really explore the town or wherever you are using your bicycle. Instead of being limited to public transport or your own vehicle, you can now go to a new city, load up a map, and travel up to you know 100 plus kilometers on eco mode with this system. And I think people are gonna really like that. The Path Series, is exactly what they want the townie to be. If everyone wants to build their dream townie, that's the path goes. And if everyone wanted to just get into it and go for a cruise, that's the 7D goes. The in-between are just filling that price point from 2,300 to 5,000. And they work great, they operate great, they get a lot of features, but it's the dream bike, the go-to bike, and the this'll do pig bike, <laughs> I don't know. All right, hopefully this helps some of you. Hopefully a lot of the clips just show off the bikes, the colors, there's lots of cool options there. The Townie series is really open to a lot of imagination for the designers at Trek, and I think a lot of people will appreciate that. All right, I hope you like this. More e-bike stuff coming. Subscribe and comment below if you made it to the end. Um, taco time. No, that's terrible. All right, thanks.